hi everyone so welcome to today's video today's video is going to be a collective haul these are just the supplies that i've picked up since january so since this year really because the last haul that i actually did was the what i got for christmas i know i did a poundland haul but that's like separate um so yeah the last haul that i actually did is the what i got for christmas and obviously that was in like december or beginning of january so I haven't done a haul since then but I have been picking up some things so I just thought that I would get them together and do a collective haul for you. I know you're getting a sneak peek but I never know like what to show you at the beginning of the video so obviously I want to give you something to look at. But if you hear shouting as well, my younger brother Ethan, he's like 17, he's on the Xbox and he keeps shouting so if you hear shouting I've tried to block the doors off as much as I can. I've tried to tell him to be quiet but he might not so... I do have some colouring books which will be in a separate video but I just want to show you like what I got because I know that hauls are quite popular but also I just basically want to show you for future video references in case you thought oh well I didn't know she got that so I just wanted to share with you what I've been picking up over the last few months and that's it let's get into it. So I'm going to start with alcohol markers I have two cheap sets here that I picked up last month i think this isn't the original packaging that these came in i'll talk about that in a second but i'll just show you these ones first i was basically just wanting to buy some new alcohol markers and i didn't want to pay a fortune i just wanted them for backgrounds you know that if you're familiar with my pages and stuff i i like to use alcohol markers on me call amagana pages and stuff like that so i didn't want to keep using like me more expensive ones like the spectrum noir ones and me wins and newton pro markers and also the ohuhus because they can run out quite like your markers can run out quite fast once you're using them for large areas like backgrounds and stuff like i know that the ones that i have aren't the the fanciest like most expensive but they're more expensive than these ones like this one was 16.99 for a pack of 80 and i don't know if i think this is just a brand like this is a generic cheap marker brand i don't know if they say something different on the barrel it's just touch data touch data i don't really know but these are pretty good pretty good i'm pretty happy with them for 16.99 you know i don't think you can go wrong you get a good good range of colors so these are the colors that you get and i just swatch them and put them in here in I've, I've used them a few times and I've been using them for more than backgrounds. I've just been using them for like my colour pages and stuff like that. And I'm really happy with them so far, the colours that I've used. I really like the, especially the lighter colours. I haven't used the greys and stuff because I'm, I'm not really like, I don't use a lot of grey. And I like that I didn't include a lot of grey because there's certain sets that just include like loads of greys. So I'm pretty happy with those. But I also got these ones which were 18 99 and this is from the brand Stationery Island. Like I say, this wasn't the original packaging because the original bag that I came in broke. It had like the zip ripped off and there was like freeing. And then also the plastic like bits that you put them, the markers into to make them stand up. Which I thought was a good touch. Like these ones don't have that. But these ones did. But they were broken. Like they were smashed. I did get in contact with Stationery Island. And they said basically they don't have spares. And I think, like, I, I just said to them, like, you should probably invest in spares in case stuff happens um, to the bags and stuff. So they did give us a refund of £1, but, you know, a £1 refund is not going to buy us a new bag. So I had to just put them in this makeup bag that I had my other markers in previously, my Spectrum Noir ones and my Winsor and Newton ones. I really apologise if you can hear the banging, but... If you have a person in your life that is a gay man, you probably understand. So you can see all the colours and stuff. It's not like a bad situation. It's just like, I'm going to have to buy another bag now. It's just a bit inconvenient. Because I like the things that stood them up. But uh, it is what it is. Um, I've just had to separate some of the colours because they don't all fit in here. But these are the colours that you get in here. Quite similar. I like the more pastel colours that you get down here. These ones are not my favourite compared to them ones 
if I had to choose between the two, I would go for these ones just because these ones seem to work a little bit better and they have more of a consistent flow. Where these ones, once you use them, like just for a little bit, they dry up quite fast and then you have to like put the lid back on and stuff like that. Where if you're wanting to do some blending work and stuff like that, where you want both of the lids off and they just dry out really fast to the air, but also they just feel like sometimes they're really dry and then sometimes they're not so they're very they've got an inconsistent flow compared to these ones i just feel like them ones are a little bit higher quality than these ones even though they're probably just the same they, they just look private labeled obviously a lot of cheap markers are but i just think that if you are choosing between them i would go for those ones i think you get 80 colors in here as well yeah but like they're not bad in any way and as you can see through the swatches some of them were like ready to burst but i think that's just the way that they were stored like on one end or the alcohol dip to the chisel tip which i did for the swatch and i do like the fact that these come with a swatch card though I thought that was quite good and I like the variety of colours. This is just a clear makeup bag if you're interested in buying like bags like this for your markers. If you have any lying around, quite handy because you can see through it. But I'm pretty sure like these bags alone, I think this bag alone costs us like £8 or something on Amazon. But I already had it, I just transferred, like I just did a bit of reorganising so I didn't have to like purchase a new bag but yeah the bag's not important chelsea just move on yeah i'm not sure if these follow the shinhan color like scheme the color basically the colors of the shinhan company because i know that you can get refills for those i know that art journey uk lily um from art journey uk said that they do sell refills on jackson's art anyway let's just move on them are those so next I have these markers from Shuttle Art in the 36 colours skin and hair tones. And if you wonder like what these sheets are, this pack of markers came with this marker pad. So I've just been um, swatching the markers that I've got most recently on here and just putting them in the bags with them. These are the colours. If you do have the Ohuhu skin tone um set that i've got i think i've got the 36 set a lot like they give you a lot more like yellower colors where i feel like these darker colors especially are a little bit more user friendly but i don't really see what a like a red and like a purple and like this bright bright um pink is got to do with skin tones but these are quite good markers. I have enjoyed using them. They're not brushes. They're just like, they are quite hard to get off. But they're just like a fine tip and a chisel tip. Like that. So yeah, but I like them. I think that they've got a good range of colours. Especially for darker skin tones. I do need to do more um, experimentation with like darker skin tones but I really like the colours of them and I actually even though these colours don't have anything to do with like these red colours don't have anything really to do with skin tones like you can still use them in your pages and they still work really well so I think they come in like a really good what's this called case <laughs> the word escaped is they come in like their own case and it's really well put together and well thought out i thought so i think they were around 30 pound cannot remember i don't know if people care about the prices but if i can remember them i will tell you so they're not like cheap but not like extremely expensive but for the case and like the things that you got with it i thought that was pretty good price so i also picked up some of these permanent markers from ohuhu i just wanted to give them a go like permanent markers are my favourite. I haven't used them extensively but they're not my favourite in general. Um, but I like the colours. I did swatch them. I might get like a clear pencil case for these but I don't know. But these are the colours that they have. I just don't find them as, as good as like alcohol markers. But I know that permanent markers are alcohol ink. So I just wanted to give them a go and i have tried sharpies in the past and they just sharpie smells so strong these ones don't smell as strong but they still got like that you know that or oh, that permanent marker or like order i was going to say aura but they've got that permanent marker order but i do like the 
colours like these purple and pink colours they're not like my favourite thing to colour with especially on um, larger areas I think I would just stick to smaller areas with these particular pens but as I say I will still use them and they're still good pens just these sort of permanent markers especially because of the tip Um, I think it's just it's less convenient than the larger chisel tip for larger areas but as I, as I say getting to the point in fewer words they are good for smaller areas I can't remember how much these were but I don't think they were very expensive I think they were around £10 so they're pretty decent for £10 you could definitely have a good time colouring with them but it's just good to have like a range of things that you can experiment with you know when you get bored um, be like I'm bored of alcohol marker so let's have a go with these so there was like shut a lot ones and everything like that there's like a bunch of different brands of these but i just went with the ohuhu ones just because i like the brand ohuhu so next i'm going to show you some spectrum noir markers that i got i just have them in these three drawers i wasn't planning on hauling these but i'll just show you that i got them anyway i got these two or three months ago i think it was like two months ago and i don't have the packaging or anything for them anymore but i got quite a few packages and they're just the classic markers with the spec the spectrum noir tip the chisel tip this is not the chisel tip but this is the fine tip and then the chisel tip i really like these markers and i picked up like a bunch of colors i did pick up the six skin tone set i picked up the floral set the vintage set the brights and the pastels so these are all in these boxes. I know it's a little bit irritating the way I'm showing you, but they just have a bunch. Like I have a bunch of colours, and I just wanted to show you that I've actually got these. They are about ten to fifteen pounds per pack, um, for a pack of twelve. I would pick up more in the future. I do want to pick up more colours. They do sell them like individually as well on cult pens. If you're in the UK, I'm not sure about other places. So I did buy a black one because it didn't have any black ones in the set. Like in the sets that I got. So I did buy a black one from cult pens because you know, you always need black. Like it's good if I wanted to pick them up individual or if there's a set that I don't have the colours of. Because they're in sets, you can sometimes get like duplicates. So... I might just like slowly build up my collection and add a colour here and there. They're not too expensive for just like two two pounds something and um, per pen. And oh the thing that I was gonna say is I bought these ones, like I decided to go with the Spectrum Noir ones because Cult Pens also sells refills for these, so I can just keep the pen and just keep refilling them. I did want to get some pens that I could keep refilling instead of like refill with the actual ink colour and not like refill with just alcohol because eventually the colour pigment does run out and that's what's been happening with a few of well quite a lot of me ohuhu ones that I've been using and refilling with the alcohol and um, they're just getting to their last legs so I did need to I did need a change and I wanted to get ones that I could actually buy a refill for and these are so nice I really really like these I've got a good range of colours and then I've got me cheaper ones and I'm good for alcohol markers for now so that was all the alcohol markers that I got so next I'll just show you some stickers that I picked up the other month I know you can get them on Amazon for around £5 each but I just pick up the ones that are like one pound um 92 or like a couple of pounds like the cheaper ones but i have i haven't even used like these ones yet and i don't think i've used this one yet i have used this one but i really need to like do a page with blue so i can use this gorgeous waterfall color so i got the waterfall color the lime green i got thistle this one is glam pink which is like a gorgeous neon pink with blue iridescent glitter and then i also just picked up a re like restocked on this stardust because it's gorgeous it's like just clear with rainbow glitter and then I, ooh, sorry and then i also picked up this gel stickles gel a uh, glitter gel I don't know how much this was i think it was like five pound or something and i just thought oh this looks very pretty so i decided to pick up that and i have used that on a few pages and it's a really gorgeous and i did want to get some more of these gel ones eventually 
but I don't think I need anything else for now like it's clear so it can pretty much go on anything so I also picked up from cult pens some individual jelly rolls so I've got some jelly roll moonlights the glaze the souffle um metallic this is a clear stardust so I got one of those because it's absolutely gorgeous this clear stardust and if you see me pages, especially me Carla Magana pages, you just know that I love using glitter gel pens and especially me jelly rolls or the glazes and the moonlights. They're just these are like my favourite pens. And also I picked up I picked up three um backups, well, refills sort of, because the other ones are running out. So kind of backups of the Pentel Jewel Hybrids and one of them is already in my stash because I've run out of it. So I did pick up the blue, grey plus metallic blue and silver. This is a beautiful colour. So then I picked up the pink plus metallic pink and then the other one that's in me me pot is the green. It's a yellow plus metallic green, I think. It's either yellow plus metallic green or green plus metallic yellow, something like that. And those are like gorgeous colours. Those are like some of my favourite colours. And then definitely my two um, favourite. Oh, I did not pick up these ones. These were like picked up a while ago. But these are just my favourite moonlights. But I already had these two in the backup pencil case because I love those ones. But the moonlights that I picked up are the other. I picked up the red one, the fluorescent yellow the fluorescent pink and the fluorescent vermilion love these moonlights and these are like some of my favorite colors i also know i also picked up the the one that they just call rose or pink it's like a darker berry pink but again that's already in the pot because i had run out of it so that's those ones i picked up some glaze i picked up the rose one the pink one and the black one and also this light blue one but if you go on the cult pens website it's listed as turquoise so don't get confused between blue and turquoise because the blue is a lot darker than this one then i also picked up a jelly roll metallic in purple because i really really like that and i had run out as i say jelly roll stardust in clear and then the souffles i was running out of is the purple the pink and the light green so those are the ones that i picked up and now all of the rest of this stuff is pencils well colored pencils specifically so i didn't have any or like i just had some sort of darker colors colors that i couldn't really make a skin tone like a proper skin tone with in the polychromo so i decided to pick up some of the lighter skin tone colors and also i picked up these two colors because i had wanted them i don't want to make too much of a racket with them rolling around so hopefully that's a bit brighter so i did pick up green gold because i know that debbie from color me stress free really likes this color so i did pick this up and it looks like a nice colour. And then I saw this colour on Kirsty from Kirsty Colour and Sketch. And it's light magenta 119. And I love purple and especially light purple. So I just definitely had to have this colour. And did I say that I picked them up individually from Cult Pens? And then for the more skin tone colours, I picked up Ivory 103. I just went for the skin tone colours that looked like skin tone colours to me. Um, a beige red 132 I got cinnamon 189 and then I got salmon 130 so those are skin tone colors I have not yet used them for skin tone but I will soon but I do really like the polychromos I love the prisma colors and I love how soft the prisma colors and stuff are but I also really like the polychromos but I need to be in like a layering mood. I think that the polychromos are just beautiful pencils as well. Like they are harder but they're not like really really hard. Like they're still so enjoyable to layer because you just get loads of pigment straight away. But you just the more you layer and the more you blend and stuff. They're just really beautiful pencils. And I feel like the polychromos are me like the fanciest pencils that I have. So I have them ones. Then I'll just show you these ones because the other three I'll put in a pencil case and I'll have to get that out. So I also picked up the Colours of the World from Crayola, the coloured pencils. 
set I had wanted to try this for a while and I know they've been on like when I kept looking they were like five to ten pounds but I saw them on offer I think for three pounds something or four pounds something I can't really remember with prime delivery so I just picked them up so the pencils are going AWOL so I have just put them in this pencil case instead of keeping them in the packaging but they are actually, I haven't used them properly for a skin tone, but I've just, I've used them here and there just for like a little bit of assistance with skin tones. But I do need to use them on a proper portrait just to give you the, like to test them out properly so I can give you like me actual thoughts. But I think that the colours are really nice. I like the variation of colours. It has like three sort of sets. It has the pink the pinker ones which they call like the rose and then it has golden tones and it also has um almond tones so it has like three separate sort of skin tone tones <laughs> like undertones which i thought was really cool um you can see the colors sorry everything's rolling over I don't know if you can actually see the colours that it's meant to be in the set. I might try them on camera. Let us know if you want to see that. So yeah, these are the Crayola Skin Tone Pencils. I'm just going to pop them in there because that's where I keep them. Because it's much easier to see what you want than in this box. So next I have these Faber Castell Black Edition Neon and Pastel Pencils. I have tried the Black Edition Pencils in the past and... I got rid of them for some reason when I was going through like this major anxiety declutter phase and they're really nice they're all quite soft I haven't used them yet properly so I've only swatched them and they're all nice and soft and I really like the colours basically you get I'll just show you I just wanted to show you the packaging um if you're wondering why the pencil case is here it's because I have the pencils actually in the pencil case so it's these ones here, you get 12. I think they were around £5 to £6. And um, so these are the colours. I've just numbered them with a permanent marker. So you like as you can see, you get a blue, a green, a yellow, kind of orange, a purplish kind of colours, and then some pinks. So technically you get like a neon colour and then a pastel colour of each colour. And I need to use them properly, but I love neon colours and I love pastel colours so I just had to try them out because they looked really nice. I just need to use them more. Next I have these Chroma Flow by Derwent. I didn't actually purchase these. My lovely friend Emma had gotten a few sets of these for Christmas and she said that she would like to send us some and I really wanted to try them so I was very very thankful to Emma so thank you again Emma. So yeah this is the Chroma Flow 24 pencils and I don't know why I'm opening the tin because they're not in there. They are here. So they are here and obviously it looks it's more than 24 because I did pick up a few myself. Let us just pick which ones I should I actually forgot that I had picked up a few myself to be honest let's just figure out which ones I got so this is the 24 set so the ones that you get in the 24 set are white salmon blush pink magenta you get lilac I think that one is um violet then you get scarlet I hope that you can actually see this scarlet strawberry flame Sun Yellow, Amber Gold, Golden Sun, Grass Green Foliage, Basil, Turquoise Green, Light Blue, Blue, Denim, Platinum, Burnt Sienna, Raisin, Natural Brown and Black. So those are the ones that you get in the 24 set. But because I like pink, let's just grab them. Because you know I like pinks and purples, or maybe you don't know, maybe you are just coming across this random haul. I really like pinks and purple colours, they're my favourite. So I did pick up some more pinks and purples. So for pinks, I picked up Ultra Pink, Pink Heather, and then this pinky purple is Orchid. Then I picked up like, oh there, this is a pink as well, Hot Pink. And then I picked up a dark purple called Midnight Purple. 
just for that depth you know and then i saw this lovely like lavender color but it was like a lavender gray and it's obviously called lavender ash and it just seemed really unique and i really like it so i picked up that color as well so those are all of the chromaflow colors that i have so those were like the first derwent pencils that i actually tried because i had never tried any derwent pencils before and i've heard really good things about them so i know that they are like the answer to like derwent's answer to the prisma colors and i really like the pencils they are really nice and soft and i really do like them and if you haven't tried them out yet and you do like prisma colors then i would definitely recommend but also from the derwent brand i wanted to try out diff like two different sets as well and i've always wanted to try the ink tents and i've always wanted to try the color soft because I know like these are the softer versions before the Chroma Flow came out. I'm glad that I only got the 12 set to try. Because I do like them but like not not as much as the Chroma Flow. So I think I'll just stick to the Chroma Flow. But I'm glad that I have these. And then I have the Ink Tents. And I really like the Ink Tents of what I've tried so far. I just tried them a little bit. But I've heard really good things. So those are what i got i picked up these two from ebay just the both 12 sets so those are what you see here so these are the there is the white sneaky the sneaky white down here that i have put so these are the derwent color soft these ones are a lot thinner compared to the regular derwent ones but this white is really good it just says white say 720 i know that a lot of people like is it the chinese white from derwent i don't know if it's the same kind of thing but i've heard people mention it mention like the chinese white from derwent so i have tried the orange as you can see for a background and they are nice pencils like i'm glad that i have them and i will use them but compared to the chroma flow the chroma flow are a lot softer and a lot more waxier um then like these ones i feel like these ones are just a lot more i don't know how to describe them they're a lot more powdery feeling i haven't tried them a bunch but just from what i can remember just trying them a little bit and then i have some ink tents i did get the 12 set of ink tents but i also picked up two colors separately so for the or oh, i'll just go through and tell you sorry if i'm feeling a bit over the all over the place but i do have the white here the colours that you get in the 12 set of the colour soft is the deep fuchsia, the burnt orange, oh sorry I don't know if you can see, the deep fuchsia bright orange sorry, you get deep cadmium, cadmium, lime green, green, blue, indigo, terracotta, dark brown and black just in case you were wondering. So for the 12 set of ink tents, you get the colours Sun Yellow, Tangerine, Poppy Red, Fuchsia, Sea Blue, Deep Indigo, Apple Green, Teal Green, Le uh, Leaf Green, Baked Earth, Bark and Ink Black. Yeah, so them are the colours that you get. And then because, you know, I like pink and I like purple, I picked up a, another pinky purple colour called Thistle and then i also picked up a darker purple called mauve so i would like to pick up some more of those as well just i didn't have enough of a budget like i didn't have enough money to pick up more of them um but i would like to pick up more in the future and like learn how to use them so yeah that is all of the things that i got so yeah just giving you something to look at while in the videos so that's everything that i've really picked up through throughout the last few months not an extortionate amount but still a few items um i'm excited to try out the pencils a little bit more i've just not been in a pencil mood like you know when you just have to be in a pencil mood to use the pencils and especially like it can hurt me hand using pencil all the time and with me column my gone pages i just like to let loose with the gel pens and the alcohol markers so yeah basically that is everything if you enjoyed this haul please give it a thumbs up if you like me, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to see any future videos. If you wanted to subscribe, that would be amazing because we're all nearly at that 1,000 
um, subscribers and I just want to thank every single person who has subscribed so far and who keeps coming back to the channel. Um, it really means a lot to us that you have stuck through us. I know that I'm not the most consistent uploader with me mental health and everything but if you did get the end of this video and you really enjoy my channel please leave us a purple heart in the comment section and I just really hope that you enjoyed this video and got some entertainment or some joy from this video today because that's what we're here for isn't it i'm gonna shut up now because i still have to film me <laughs> color a book haul and yeah and yeah and yeah and yeah i know i say that a lot but yes that is it for this video i will see you in the next one i'll talk to you in the next one i'm filming a few and i've got a few to edit so hopefully there'll be a few more videos coming in the upcoming weeks um so yeah that's it so yeah i hope that everybody has a nice day or night or had a nice day whatever whenever you're watching this and i shall see you next time bye